Well, well Jack Lambert was a, a, a great linebacker. Played at Kent State uh, in, in college uh, with uh, my uh, older brother, Daryl. And I, I, I knew Jack a little bit uh, in, in college from my brother, uh, Daryl. And uh, so uh, when he played uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers and I played for the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, you know, we got along well. As a matter of fact, Jack and, and, and one of my former teammates, Booby Clark, they used to go at it all the time. And, and uh, he'd hit uh, Booby Clark and, and he'd have Booby Clark on the ground. He might kick him or something just to give him a little extra hit. And they'd get to going and arguing and the whole works. Uh, but when Jack would tackle me, normally, you know, he'd help me up. Well, uh, th there's a story that I, I always tell about uh, 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 Jack Lambert, and, and that story goes that uh, uh, we were playing against uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and, and, and Jack always had a lot of success at, at stopping our end sweeps. I mean, he was tall, rangy, uh, long arms, and, and, and he, he could get to the outside real quick, and he had a tremendous amount of success stopping our, our end sweeps. Well, our coaches put in a special play uh, designed for us to get around the Pittsburgh Steelers corner and uh, the place w play was called a toss sweep to the fullback uh, from the uh, uh, one back formation and all that really means is that the fullback would be the only back lined up in the back foul half back position which I played I would line up wide to the right at a flanker back position and my job was to go into motion and try and execute what we call a surprise crack back block on the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, uh, great middle linebacker Jack Lambert if I would do that then that would really clear uh, the right side of the field so that the fullback uh, could get the pitch out and, and, and have clear sailing around the end. Well, we got in the game against the Steelers, and we tried all kind of things and didn't have much success at all, so coaches finally called uh, the new play, uh, which was toss sweep to the fullback. And uh, I was in the game at the time. Kenny Anderson was quarterback. Pete Johnson, my former teammate uh, here at Ohio State, was at the fullback spot, and, and we ran this play, and Kenny sent me in motion. Ball was snapped. And I went at Jack with a great deal of intensity, and I caught him with a great block. Hit him with the best block of my entire professional career. Pete Johnson got the pitch out, ran the ball for about 25 yards. Play was a great success. Went back to the huddle, feeling real good about what I had just done, and teammates started patting me on the back, congratulating me on the head, and I'm feeling good about it because Jack had been hitting me all day, and I had a chance to tee off on him, took full advantage of it. I got back to the huddle. Uh, to my surprise, the next play called was an 18 was a, 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 the, the same play, toss sweep to the fullback uh, from the one-back formation. Well, we broke the huddle, Kenny Anderson, quarterback, Pete Johnson, fullback, I'm in the game at the halfback spot, so I lined up wide to the right again. When I got out there wide to the right, I looked down inside to see where Jack was lined up because I wanted to make sure that I would take the same approach to him that I'd taken the play before. Well, we looked down inside, uh, I noticed that Jack was staring right back at me. So I quickly turned my head and looked upfield because I didn't want to give away what I was going to do. Well, our quarterback Kenny answered. He started calling the signals again. He sent me in motion. Ball was snapped. As soon as the ball was snapped, I went after Jack with the same intensity that I'd gone after him to play before. This time, I got right into his face, ready to explode into another great block. But wham! He hit me with a forearm that you cannot believe. Lifted me up, put me flat on my back, went across the line of scrimmage, and tackled Pete Johnson for a three-yard loss. Well, after the play was over, I was still lying on the ground because Jack had hit me so hard, he had put me in a daze. And Jack saw me lying there, and... He walked over to me, stood over top of me, looked down at me, and he said, Griffin, if you ever, if you ever try to block me again, I'll bite your head off. Well, I crawled back across the line of scrimmage, got into the safety of my own huddle. When I got into the safety of my own huddle, I stood up and I yelled. I said, yeah, Lambert, if you do, you have more brains in your stomach than you've got in your head. That's that story. I exaggerated a little bit, but basically a lot of it is true. He did say that if you try to block me again, I'm going to bite your head off.